Hello guys, Lunar here and welcome to this Fallout 76 video. The trailer was released earlier today, I posted it to my channel because I absolutely love Fallout games and Elder Scroll games and Bethesda games in general, so I thought we should look at the trailer in a bit more depth to see what there is going on. If you want to see more Fallout content, like and subscribe. First up then guys, this is actually a new game because I know some of you have already asked me if this is just going to be some kind of DLC, but Pete Hines started by saying, if you watch the live stream on Twitch, which I did, he started off by saying that this will be their next game. So it's not just some kind of add-on or small thing, it is the next Fallout game. Whether that be a sequel to the main series of Fallout games, we don't know. It could just be its own title like Fallout New Vegas was, but either way, it will still be a full game. Okay, so let's take a look at more in depth of the trailer. The trailer starts off with the traditional Fallout theme, a radio starts playing, a little bit of ink spots to make us think they've just remastered Fallout 3, but it then pans out to reveal a pit boy and the song for the trailer is Take Me Home Country Road. That may be simply a song from the game, or maybe if we read more into that, could possibly give us a setting for the latest installment, West Virginia coal country. There's already lore and factions and everything set up for the game around this area, like the town of Matawan for example. I'm not going to go too much detail into that because I could go on for hours, but there is things in the video to back up. I'm not saying that this will be set in the town of Matawan, but there is one good example. As the video pans out more, you get to see more of the Pit-Boy, you get a date on there. It says the 27th of October, and that could possibly be the release date for this game. If it is that, and it is this year, that would make October 2018 one of the biggest ever years for game releases. Black Ops 4, Battlefield 5, Red Dead 2, and now Fallout 76. Anyway, the final date on there is 2102, and that could be significant, because that is just two years after the townspeople of the town of Matawan in Virginia emerged from their vaults according to the lore. And again, this isn't confirming that this would be the town where Vault 76 would be, although we don't know the exact location of Vault 76. But we can look at this to see and give us a bit of an insight into what the world would be like in the new game. According to the lore, when Matawan's population emerged from coal mines some seven years later, they saw a world unlike any they remembered. Covered in grime from the mines and blinking from the sudden excess of natural light that had been absent in their makeshift shelters, Matawan's residents found a world that was dry and barren. Nuclear fire had blasted the land clean, ripping away and destroying most of the crops and soil. The settlers of Matawan essentially emerged from the vault not too long after the war and need to rebuild the town and of course there are problems between new factions and religions. So that gives us a little insight into what the world of Fallout is like around this time and around this location of West Virginia if this is indeed where the game is set but there are other things here which point to the game being set in this location. One of them is later in the trailer you can see a bottle of beer and on it it's difficult to see exactly what it says but one word is clear and that is the word DAC. DAC is the Dutch word for what? Again, we know there's a big Dutch population in Virginia, so could be another clue. However, of course, all this stuff would just be speculating. I do want to know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. All right, let's continue on a little bit with the trailer. The trailer continues to show parts of the vault, living quarters of some kind, with a bed and there's a board game there. You can see the DAC beer again on the table. There is a TV scene which shows an official looking person opening the vault pre-war. The vault has a bit of an interesting history. It's first mentioned in the Mothership Zeta expansion for Fallout 3, and then again it's mentioned in Fallout 4, where the newsreader mentions Vault 76 opening in honour of the United States Tricentennial. And there is a poster in the trailer about the Tricentennial. Now, according to a terminal in the Citadel, Vault 76 construction began in February 2065. It was completed in October 2069 and it can hold over 500 occupants. So it's definitely one of the larger vaults, and that leads to a lot of speculation on whether the game will be set entirely inside of one of these vaults. But for any more details on Vault 76, we really don't know too much. We don't know its exact location, and we don't know anything else about it. One thing I want to mention also, this doesn't really have anything to do with Vault 76. It's about the year in which the game is set, which you see on the Pit Boy 2102. And that is the year that Richard Gray, AKA the Master, first gets infected and his whole story really begins with the FEV virus and mutants and so on. So that may play into the game at some point because it's the same year. Although this all happens on the opposite side of the US, really in California. So that's kind of contradicting on where the game is set, but it seems like a good opportunity to include that in the game as it is set in the same year, the whole storyline, which plays into quite a lot of the lore of Fallout games. 
All right, guys, let's take a look at more of the trailer. The next trailer scene is of a trophy cabinet of some kind. It doesn't appear to be that of an average settler, though. Maybe an overseer or something like that, because there's a lot of things in this trophy case. I can read most of it. One of them says annual vault Halloween contest, first place. Outstanding achievement award in appreciation for your commitment and dedication to our isolation program, sacrificing many so we can live. Excellence and bravery in recognition of the something, can't quite make it out. We are proud of you and glad you are not dead. Next one is best looking hair award, cleanest toilet award, and there's a performance award, vault hall monitor in recognition of, and that's all that we can really see of that. The trailer then goes on to show a terminal saying, we are invited to reclamation day. However, if you take a look at the trailer, you can see the confetti and stuff lying around. Seems like the party has already happened, but there doesn't seem to be any people going around. And so maybe the vault is actually empty and you are the sole survivor inside of Vault 76. And maybe you were on your own at some point because you do have that award for being part of their isolation program. Maybe you were somehow segregated and that's why you're the only person here. Again, we don't really know, but that's just one possibility. So guys, that is the trailer. Short but awesome. It does raise a lot of questions though on what the game is about and how it works. Based on the lack of other dwellers, maybe you are somehow stuck in the vault and you need to find a way out. Some people think based on the name, the game is set entirely in Vault 76. Maybe the game is about you somehow repopulating the vault with people. There is also now some speculation that the game is going to be an online game, although I can't figure out how that would work. But both Kotaku and Polygon have mentioned it, and now a lot of the other news websites have been mentioning it. But they did say the game is going to go in a new direction. And if it is, I hope it's more of a co-op style game rather than an online game. However, with the vault being empty, maybe it's going to be an MMO style game where the residents of Vault 76 are made up of real people, online players. The speculation though of what the game will actually be about and how it works is endless and I'm sure you guys will have a lot to say in the comments. Essentially though we will just have to wait till E3 to see more about what the game is going to be about and all we can say is it's set before other Fallout games just 25 years after the end of the war and it's very likely going to be in Virginia. Also if it is set in 2102 there will not be if we do leave the vault a lot of already established settlements and communities as it's not been very long after the war because other games are set 80 years or 200 years later. This one is only 25 years later. Either way, it's going to be a fun game though, I'm sure. Well guys, that is it for this video. That's all the information I could see while I was looking through it. I'm sure there's other stuff, so let me know. If you want to see more videos like this, check out links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications enabled so you don't miss any videos for Fallout 76. But guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.